G'day guys! Oh, sure. That w that wasn't a salute. That wasn't Sig Heil. Anyway, um, g'day guys. This is Lemon Eating Cow, and today we are back playing Final Fantasy XV uh, Comrades multiplayer expansion. Look at that. What's that? Um, on the PS4 Pro. Uh, this is episode four as well. We're pro we're gonna try and do a little bit of story progress, but also we'll get some. If any of you guys are playing, maybe you can jump in and we can do some uh, do some quests or something together. But we'll just see how it goes. We'll see how matchmaking goes. I got to push on with the story a little bit because I'm getting left behind. But uh, otherwise, I have just made a guide on. Um, a good spot to level, so the video just finished rendering, so I should be able to upload it pretty soon. Um, anyway, good 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 day to everybody in the chat. Good day, Moogles. Hashtag Moogles with three O's. Uh, little Kidder, hello. Uh, Jackie M, Plan C. What other Moogles have we got in there? That's it. God damn it. Anyway, uh, good day to everybody else. Ghost Aspire, hey mate. Aram. Hello! I see you on my friends list there, mate. Uh, Rinchu, get a. Uh, Emmanuel Diaz, hey, love your channel, keep up the great work. No worries, mate, I will keep it up. Uh, Mickey Murray, um, 24, 24 7, hello. Martin, Aria, Noella, hello. Mr. Percy's, Johan, Kane, the one, and Spohuli. Anyway, let's get into it. Oh, Rhea Roberts, hello, Moogle. Um, let us do some quests. So I've been doing a little bit of leveling. Um, I'm level 16 now. I've actually found a pretty good place to spa, uh, to farm. Uh, nothing new with my weapons. My items are pretty much all the same as well. Um, nothing much else to say, I don't think. Ooh, Arabea. Oh, d oh. I thought we were going to be able to see a 3D model, like, a. A, a different one, but anyway. Uh, let's do some quests. Yeah? Uh, actually, we'll spend some kilowatts to unlock some stuff. Uh, we got 27,000 kilowatts. I don't... See, the thing is, I don't know which... Like, none of these look like it's going to lead down to K Golden Key yet. So... Unless I have to, like, unlock that and then it opens branching things, or... I'm going to have to complete these to make my way up to the Maldacio uh, Hunter HQ. But surely you could just activate that and go across, right? Like, come on. Come on. Uh, Jello, I don't really have that many issues at the moment. It's been pretty good connecting. Uh, is there anything we need to purchase? Snakes on a downed plane. I love it. Um... Maybe that will... I'm going to unlock that quest, actually. Um, actually, is there... There's no other, like, progression-looking ones, is there? The Baleful Bandersnatch. I think I'm going to get that. We've got the power! We've got the power. Uh, ooh! Okay, so we have to complete that, and what does it unlock? 2,800. Ugh, it's gross. Um... Matteo Marchesi. Um, lighting the way. Escort. No, spank you. I'm trying to avoid the escorts as much as I can, man. I friggin' hate escorts. And we'll do this one as well. Oh, that seemed like a pretty good one. Uh, new multiplayer. Save the souvenirs and the marauding Midgard Zoma. Oh, arm schematics. Doing it. Good shit. We've got the power. We've got the power. I probably should have unlocked something else, but anyway. Uh, we got new arms in our arm shop now. And also, if we defeat the Midgard Summer, we get the Wanderer's Sigil, Cheer. Which Cheer is not that great, honestly. Ooh, fashion sketchbook as well. <gasps> Man, we're opening so much. Ooh, and with enough kilowatts, we're able to get to our next Hunter HQ. Good shizzle. Okay. Um, Illy! G'day, mate! How you doing? Um, let's do it. 
Um, Julia, that's a good question, actually. I don't know what the 60k node does. Good to see you. I assume it would give you, like, a secret questy thing around here, maybe? Well, you would goddamn want it to, wouldn't you? <laughs> I would imagine it would give you access to other nodes around here, but I'll, I'll test it out so you guys don't have to. So just wait on me and I'll cover it. Um, so we're going to do some urgent quests right now. We'll do the Midgard Sulma. Uh, first. It's only level 14, but this is Final Fantasy, so levels mean dick. <laughs> levels don't mean anything. Illy, you're at work. I am disgusted by your lack of dedication, mate. I need a leveling partner. What the hell are you doing? That is... I thought we were friends, mate. I thought we were friends. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm going to be opening up, if you guys are anywhere around like where I am in the stream at the moment, or like game progress, I'm going to be opening up, let's make me not so pale, let's, let's give me jaundice, yeah that'll be a bit of jaundice right there, is that jaundice, yeah, alright, let's go, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing questing with you guys on uh, stream if you want. And then this weekend, for anybody that's kind of lagging behind, I'm going to do a stream where I just help people catch up and do earlier missions and urgent missions and stuff like that. So the code I'm going to be using is going to be 9876. So if anyone is around and wants to join me, then they can. But if I don't find anyone on probably the first go, uh, I'll just move on. So... Work is for the week. For the week. Actually, I'm, I'm off work today because I have to go to the doctorios uh, and get examined. Do be careful. But back at work tomorrow, so I won't be able to stream tomorrow. Unfortunately. Bam! So I haven't... Oh, dude, we were meant to check the weapons store. Can I back out of... Ah, oh, god damn it. Nobody join my game, please. <laughs> we were meant to check the new weapons we got. Yeah, oh, well. If no one joins. This is the really shitty thing, though. Uh, I really hope Square addresses it in a future thingy. Once you're searching in the mac ma matchmaking, there's no way to cancel out of it, which is terrible. Like, absolutely a terrible um, mechanic. I mean, it, it's the worst. Um, I'm doing the Midgard Soma uh, quest, mate. Marauding Midgard Soma, I think. Yeah, Jackie M. Um, I will be prioritizing Moogles this weekend. So anybody that sponsors the channel, I will be prioritizing um, like playing with them or multiplayer with them, uh, just to like boost up their quests or whatever they need to do. So, whoa. <laughs> Look at my sword! Whip, 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 whip. <laughs> awesome. Uh, well, not really awesome, but it's there. You want weapons? You want weapons? Uh, Nobu Kuni? Is that? That's new. Oh, look at the base attack on it. Ah, but you can't upgrade it at all. You can't upgrade it. That sucks balls. I mean, it sucks things. Um. Freeze bow? Uh, that would might be good. We've been talking about getting a... Oh, that would actually be good for that coral mission. But again, you can't upgrade it. So, lame. They've given me a shield like every single time. What is with the shields? Don't jam them down my neck, you bastards. Oh, well, those are lame. Man, we got hardly any upgrades. Balls. Hey, come again. Yeah, well. Um... Anyway, back to it. Which hunt will you join? Uh, okay, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna try once more to find people for this, but if not, I'm gonna play with the AI, I think. Um, because... So we're doing the Marauding Midgard Summer, and I'm gonna do... Um, Quetzalcoatl, nice name. Uh, 9876. Blap, there you go. 
So you Americans, have you got the um and the the Europeans? Have you guys unlocked like is um comrades unlocked for you? It's it's worldwide now, is it? Yeah, people have reported there's a bug that oh man, my sword's stuck on me now. Um, a bug that lets you not level. Well, you do level, but it doesn't it doesn't show you your level progression until you get to a certain point and then it just updates it. But as far as I know, um, as far as I know, it does, uh, it does actually, you can actually level through it. Hey! Soma Cruz! I am, man, hey, is Soma Cruz, is that the name from, is it Portrait of Ruin? That's from a Castlevania game, is it? Or Harmony of Dissonance? Anyway, mate, I, I'm sorry I missed your thing. So, McCruz. Thank you, mate. Uh, he said, or she said, uh, I enjoy your work and hope this helps you a lot. Thanks, mate. It, it, it actually has. Thank you. That's fantastic. Thank you, dude. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do it again. Yay! <laughs> Little dancing cow up there. No, thanks, man. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, Uro Bro. Who's Uro Bro? Hello, FFAN. Dawn of Sorrow, that's it, yeah. I, man, I absolutely, uh, I love, I love, love those Metrovoid, Metrovania games. I guess they are so good. Um, Dawn of Sorrow is probably one of my favorites, but also, of course, Symphony of the Night. And then there's like Harmony of Dissonance and Portrait of Ruin and... Uh, Order of Eskelia, and I love those games, man. They are so good. I'm really looking forward to, um, what is it? Blood? What, what's the new one coming out? Something Blood. Uro Bro, looking good, mate. Looking good. I think you need a bit of color on your outfit, but otherwise. You kind of look like the dude from, um, The Used. Cauliflower dick, I think. Um, someone calls him. Who calls him that? Kelly from uh, the Osbournes calls him that. Bloodstained. Yeah, that's it. Thanks. Lady Vesperia. Thank you. Um, let's go. Hopefully, I haven't done this one before, but it should be okay. It shouldn't be too bad. Because Uro is 12, level 12. Did Uro say who he was in the chat? Oh, Uro bro is Uro bro. <laughs> a robo? A robo? The marauding Midgard Zamar. The thing that I've been finding really annoying so far, like hugely annoying, is um, down the bottom you still get tips and tricks. It's like, hey, do this and do that. It just clutters the shit out of your UI. It's just, it's not pretty at all. I don't like it. I've noticed with this weapon, the really good thing about it is that I'm 100% resistant to um, to uh, fire damage. So like, it's fire damage, I'm just invulnerable straight up to it. So I'm hoping there's a boss later on that is just fire damage. Uh, Night Strokes, if you burnt out on Final Fantasy XV, Comrades is actually a decent change of pace, mate. It, um, doesn't feel like the main game. I would really say not all that much. It doesn't feel like the game main game, so, yeah, it might be worth picking up. And I think for the amount of content you get, it's, it's fairly cheap. What, what is it, like $20 in America? What's that, like four beers or something? That's like half a night out. Get him, son. Oh, who's buffing us? Luca, maybe. Thank you, Luca. Still haven't found a reliable uh, sigil, which is uh, disappointing, but hopefully we'll get one soon. I'm not sure I like the decision of locking every single sigil behind quests. It would be good if they gave us like two or three kind of basic ones at the start. FFAN, I'm I'm actually really enjoying myself. I I like this. The only 
it's a very loose comparison, like a very loose comparison, but um, I guess Monster Hunter-ish? I like grinding for different uh, upgrade materials. I actually just like grinding, it kinda, it's kind of cathartic for me. Um, P.E.D. No, it's uh, very much different from the other expansions. Um, I'll show you my time played. 13 hours I've been playing this for so far. A lot of that has been me standing around like I'm when I'm editing videos, but I think just the other day I was at about 7 hours, so it's actually, um, there's a fair chunk of content here, mate, like a fair chunk. Ooh, Midgard Zomma. G'day, Spork. How you doing, mate? Hit him. Boom. Well, oh crap, he does poison. <gasps> this would actually be a chance where poison resist would be good. Illy, we need your uh we need your healing skills, mate. Oh, no. No thanks. So for anyone wondering about the food, I've had a few questions about it. The food in battle does, you can't like eat it during battle, but if you die or if you like get to that point where you need to be revived, uh, if you have a piece of food you can revive, but if you've got no pieces of food you won't be revived. Um, so it's important to carry pieces of food, uh, but generally you can't actually use them, like consume them in battle. See, the, this Midgard Summer is a lower level than the Velus, M.A. Velus, in uh, the other mission, but he's got way more HP. Oh, Luca. There you go. If you want to um, resurrect your, your uh, party, you have to Warp Strike to them, and uh, you hold L1 to target them and then Warp Strike to them. Well, this guy is hella buggy, man. Man, I love on this katana, the Yashura, it's got a skill on it called uh, Combo Mosis. And the more combo you do, you get MP. So in this stage, it lets you do quite a few more uh, warp strikes than you'd usually be able to, which is good. And the more warp strikes you do in that uh, vulnerable state, or the, the blue parry state, the more damage you start inflicting. So there we, we just parried. And now, every time you Warp Strike, you'll see our damage will increase a little bit. But the higher your Warp Strike chain goes, the faster the bar depletes, so it becomes like an, a race at the end. Holy shit, that did huge damage. Good work, Urobo, Urobro, <laughs> Urobro, Urobro, Urobro. Wow, and the NPCs actually picked up level 2 ingredients. That's pretty good. Oh, have a good one, FFAN. Make sure you stop by this weekend so we can uh, get a bit of game and action go going. But yeah, for anyone wondering, like, should I buy this expansion, should I not? Um, it's friggin' awesome. It's really good. Man, see that katana? 120,000 damage. This katana is fantastic, man. Really good. Glad you made it back. Glad you made it back. No worries, love. What is she gonna- is she gonna cook- tr you better not cook trash, woman. What's it gonna be? Sorry, Increased skill and item drop rate. Eh, it's alright. There was a food during the closed beta that Increased your damage by like 200. It was a little bit OP, but I wonder if we can get that back Yeah, if you have the season pass, uh, it's far more cost-effective to use a season pass like far more cost-effective uh, Anything good there miasmal no we need to do that mission quite a bit to farm the great I think it's the great Crest? The Great Snake Crest, maybe? Oh, Plan C. What are you asking, mate? 
So nothing to join you on until the weekend. Otherwise, I'm going to go back to what I was doing. Well, it depends what quest you're doing, Plan C. I, I don't know what quest you're up to, mate. Are you, have you just started the game or something? Or I'm... um. Plan C, I'm pretty much going to push on with the main quests if I can. If you're up to this point, good. But I'm going to let people kind of catch up. And then I think on the weekend, um, I think that point people will kind of be starting to play and it'll be a good time that I can kind of jump in with the viewers really easily. Because at, at the moment, I think uh, I'm a little bit far ahead. But once I'm a higher level, I can come back into lower missions and help you guys out. So, yeah. I'm definitely not ignoring the uh, the people. It's just, yeah, I think it works better that way. G'day, Geordie. And Timothy, my day is good. It's actually only 11.30 a.m. here, so my day is not even really started. <gasps> is Iggy going to turn up? I think Iggy's about to turn up in town. Hopefully he's got a good set of daggers, because daggers are actually hmm, pretty good. Sounds like the town is back to his bustling former... Ah! Uh, it's Iggy. Iggy, 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 can't you see? Your walking cane hypnotizes me. Um, let's go kill I Iggy. <laughs> How you doing, Iggy? Bam! Town, kid. Thanks to those photos. Oh, we're gonna punch a blind guy in the face. Ahem. <clears throat> All right. Oh, ghost, are you up against the corals? <laughs> Those corals are hella hard, man. Geordie, what did you miss so far? Uh, everything. I, uh, I got naked and then gave out free season passes. So, sorry, mate. You missed out on that one. <coughs> yeah, no, plan C, man. I totally intend on playing with, uh, with you guys this weekend. So, it should be, should be pretty good. Have we seen the uh, Noctis in Tekken 7? Yeah, man, he looks really good. I I actually really like Tekken 7. I tried to put it on the channel, but everyone was like, I'm not watching that shit. So, um, yeah. Which, I did get criticisms when I first put up the Tekken 7 video, uh, or videos. People were like, man, come on, this is like an RPG channel. But, ha, in your face, dickheads. <laughs> Because you've seen that Tekken 7 and Final Fantasy 15 do share something. So maybe I just had bovine perception and I was able to see the future and I was like, Tekken 7, Final Fantasy 15, I knew it was going to happen. I knew. Wow, I'm looking awesomely pale today. Oh, Iggy. What is he weak to? Not far, you boss. Whoa. Okay, what is he? We'll have to check his weakness. He's strong against lightning, like hardcore strong. I think he might be resistant to ranged weapons, actually. Heal. We'll just hit him with the uh, good old katana. Whoa, man, he's just like spamming magic on us. Hopefully he casts fire, because I'm... He's not. I'm... I'm completely resistant to fire, and he's not going to cast it. He breaks through our shields as well. Man, he's blind. <laughs> We're beating up a... He's got a walking cane. Come on, man. This is low. He's still smashing us for a blind dude, though. Oh, so you can just roll out of the way of his magic spell. Ah, oh, that's... it's a little bit disappointing, but... oh well. Sorry, Iggy. You glaives can certainly hold your own. Royal Retinue Rumble. So I'll beat all three of the bros now. Ignis has left town. I... I dislike the fact that they're just like, Fuck you, man. And they just leave, you know? <laughs> they don't... they're not like, Oh, that was a pretty good battle. They're just like, whatever, dickhead. And they just leave town. Don't lose to a blind man. He is Ignis, though, so... He's resistant to cows, yeah. Ig uh, Ignis has carved up enough cows that he knows exactly how they work. He knows the inner workings of a cow, so... Did he give us a weapon? I didn't notice. Why is that a Shura? Oh, okay. Heat 
Wait, did he not give us a weapon? He didn't. Oh, he gave us a storm lance. Did he? Yeah, he did. Wicked. Good shit, Iggy. Uh, let's go level up this storm lance, actually, because I know I have a lot of materials that I can pump into vitality to level that up. So, we'll give that a shot. Um, Joe Clark, anyone hearing a high-pitched sound? Is there? Is it my microphone, maybe, mate? If there's any audio problems, just let me know as soon as you can. I'll try and fix it. My friend Dino called to give me another update about the situation at Golden Key. The, um... My mic, I can, no matter what I do with it, it's a good mic. But it always... I find it cracks a lot. I have to mess around with my audio and stuff. It just... I'm never happy with my mic quality, but... Um... Yeah. Got her all tuned up for you. Uh, what am I doing? See, if you haven't seen my video on weapon enhancing yet, we're going to look for things that boost up vitality here. Barrier saver, what does that do? Reduces MP cost of projecting a barrier by negative 20%. Okay, so that was almost going to fulfill our mark. Let's do that. That ain't half bad, that ain't half bad kid! It's weird, it's called a storm lance, but it doesn't actually have um, electrical uh, properties to it. Uh, those give three. Um, what else have we got? They give a bit too much experience. That's... that could be alright. We got heaps of them too. Good. See, we've reached level 40 and you'll see the white, the bar um, goes white underneath the, uh, the little thingy there. So we'll boost that up. Mana Strike. Increases damage output by 30% at the expense at the expense of 5 MP. Is that a is that an ability or does that just take off 5 of our MP? Because I or I wonder if warp strike changes to mana strike and it costs MP more MP to strike. Let's try. We'll see what it does. So your weapon will be completely remodeled. Let's do it. Hmm. Would you look at that? Will you look at that? 21 of 40, your storm lance has been remodeled into the partisan. Ooh, and luckily I was using the right material on it because we can boost it again. Got her all tuned up for you. We have to boost this light thing here, last chance X. Critical hit race increases. Okay, we've seen that one. How many do of those do we have to put in? Not a lot. Um, I think we had one that did, did both before. Oh, perfect. Oh, is it gonna work? No, god damn, it's just a bit shy of that. Um, what I'm gonna do is... These are too much experience though. Yeah, that's way too much experience. I want something that's gonna boost my light, but it's very low experience. Okay, that, uh, it's, see the experience on it's so high. Maybe if I put one of those in. Oh, curative spell Norza. Uh, Esuna. I don't really want it actually. I'll keep Mana Strike. See, the problem is if you get the weapon to level cap without like meeting those stipulations down the bottom, you won't be able to change it, like remodel it. So I'm hoping I haven't stuffed my chances. Dynamo? Can we reach it? Oh, you fuck! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding? We are... Ah, oh, shitballs. We are one off. One off. You know a good thing that Square Enix could implement? They could have a, a very rare um, monster material that actually deducts experience would be actually pretty good. Oh, I'm two... I'm two points off. How can I kind of milk? I need something that gives two. Maybe if we do this. See, that's a low. Maybe if we do this. It gives me a little less experience than the other one. Hopefully now we can fit an extra dynamo. 
Oh, do you f fuck? <laughs> that is so annoying, man. I'm gonna miss out on it now. God damn it! I don't think I can do this weapon to its uh, full potential. I think I just screwed myself. <sighs> That's upsetting. 560 for 2. That's 400. Let's see. Sorry, I know I'm dicking around, but it's uh, this is this is quite annoying to me. 360 for 1. It's cheaper to get. Um, what if I do one of those? It's not going to work, is it? We're boned. We're stuffed. We can't do it. Can we do it? Maybe that'll do it. I'm going to try it anyway. You messed up Prompto's weapon? Yeah, it's so easy to mess up the weapons if you don't really have a clear path, which obviously I don't right now. Okay, Dynamos, come on, mate. Don't let me down, Dynamo. Oh, shit! Just snuck it in. Alright, we, we get both of those stipulations. Good shit. Alright. Well, blow me now! I think he said blow me down, but anyway. Uh, the Partisan has become the Precision Lance, and we got Sidestep with it as well. Sidestep enables the user to evade attacks in the middle of a combo with L and Circle. That is actually friggin' brilliant. That is really good. Um, do we have anything that can boost strength on it? Maybe it can be our Vitality weapon. Because the Vitality on it is already pretty, pretty up there. Critical boost? Increases critical rate by 10%. That's actually, that's pretty good. Um, let's make it our vitality weapon, huh? We'll keep on pumping dynamos into it. I think that's pretty good, because dynamos are really easy to farm from the, uh... From the Robo Resurrection mission, so I think I'm going to do that. Yes. Good stuff. I, I'm glad I got it to work. I was a bit... I was fretting there. The attack isn't quite as high as our... Um, as our... What's it called? Our Katana, but hopefully it's good. We'll equip that bad Bizzle. Um, Geary? What don't we use much anymore? I think I'll get rid of my Pinwheel. And we'll try the Precision Lance now. Alright. What Any did we... Now we unlock this. I don't have enough kilowatts for it. God damn. So I'm going to have to do one more mission. At least. Yeah. What we'll do is spend the 7,800 there. And then we'll get a refund of like 6,000 shards. So it'll only really effectively cost 1,800 to do it. Okay, let's do another quick mission, huh? Thanks again. My katana is the Ashura. Man, I am not doing Escort Miss Cindy. Crap on that. <laughs> I don't want to rage and throw my controller on the, um, on stream. Should we try Bandersnatch? Let's try Bandersnatch. I think he's going to kick my ass, but we'll give it a shot. Is anybody up to this point? I'm going to try. We'll go custom. I'm doing the Bandersnatch mission, and we're going to make a room called 9876 again. Lemon Eating Cows Camp. And we'll see what happens. But again, this weekend, I'll be doing lower level stuff this weekend. So, yeah. Um, <laughs> Long live skinny. How do you clean your character? There's a tent in Lestalem that you can sleep in. Oh, look at the moveset. Oh, so each attack takes MP. Every attack takes MP. I think this lance might be shit, actually. I'm not going to be able to warp strike or anything. Uh, I think I might have made the wrong choice with this one. Oh well. Uh, oh well. <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens.
We can dodge mid combo. I suppose that means um, it. Yeah, there you go. Oh, it pretty much does a warp strike. Um, we'll just go with AI at the moment. I think. Give me a sec. I'll be back in one second. Look, you're on the internet. Um, my wife and daughter just got home, so... <laughs> there might be a little bit of noise coming up, but otherwise, uh, things will proceed as normal. But she tends to be cranky at around about this time, so if she cries a bit, then uh, my apologies, but otherwise... Uh, say hello, Ray. Hi. No? Not interested? Anyway, I'll be back. Hey, <laughs> mummy. All right, I'll stream for about another half hour or so. Anyway, sorry about that. Um, yeah, my wife just got home, so uh, let's just go with AI, huh? I'm gonna go with AI. She is adorable. She is so amazing. I had mixed feelings about showing my daughter on the internet and stuff, but I think she's young enough it's not a big deal, but once she starts becoming aware and like looking like the person she will be, I, I might just not do that again, but... Um... Anyway... So yeah, I'm an old man, if you couldn't tell by my uh... <laughs> my get up. Um... What are we doing? Yeah, we'll grab some rice. Yura! Let's get into it. Oh, I forgot to emote today. Where is it? Chocobo stamps? <laughs> that is so cool, man. Yeah, um... Misurama... Misurama? Um... Actually met me and my... Or my wife and I at, um... Supernova convention, which was at, um... Where? Brisbane, last weekend. G'day, Sean! Ah, oh, dude! That's actually... Sean, thank you very much for drop dropping in and giving me some advice. Sean made a good point. Like, they talked about a donation place um, that we unlocked, but I didn't really... I forgot about it. Sean is saying that we unlocked a shop that allows for donations. It's in the main HQ at the bottom of the stairs. Good stuff. Thanks for reminding me, man. Yeah, I totally forgot about that, so thanks. Um, yeah. I, I'm wondering, maybe I have to do a solo quest to unlock it, though. We'll test out this new line, stuff. Huh? Is... I'm guessing the um, the thing that looks like a sun is critical, right? Right? So my critical should be crazy high with this lance. Yeah, we critical a lot. So this is a pretty high critical. Yeah, look at that. This is actually really good lance. Pew, 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 pew. Dude. Oh, that guy's getting pooned. Oh, you get a samurai here. Or a ronin, rather. No! Whoa, he's got bulk HP as well. Defend, defend, defend! Boom! Hey, that buddy! Get him! No! Get him! Yeah! Man, once you do those blue uh, warp strikes, it starts to take heaps of damage once the um, the level goes up on it. Got him? Bandersnatch time? Are we fighting Bandersnatch? That's who we're fighting, right? 
It's weird that he's surrounded by so many demons, though. Well, thanks for the, the advice, Sean. I'll, I'll definitely check it out. Definitely check it out. Um, I'm not sure what the donation place does, though. It says that it can give us, like, passive income or something. I don't really know how it works, but... But it, it's like the, um, the whole weapon modification thing. I had no idea how to do it. Like, the game doesn't tell you how to do it at all. It's just like, hey, there's this thing that you can do. You should do it. And you're like, uh, alright. No! <laughs> I counted the shit out of that dude. Off the legs. I like the moveset on the, um, the lance, but it just drains the crap out of my, uh, MP. I don't like it from that regard. No, I thought the Mind Flare was dead. Get me up, boys. What? What just happened? Look at this. Look at this dude. He's watching my body. <laughs> Get me up, you son of a bitch. He's just watching me. You fucking asshole. Did you see that NPC? He was just like, yeah, die. Die. Is the mind player still up? Has no one taken care of him yet? Oh, it's a, it must be a... Ah, that's frustrating. Okay, this is actually a pretty, pretty hard mission. Where is... Ah, the, the targeting system is... Target him. The game is overall pretty good, but the targeting system, man, it, it's frustrating. It's When everything's going fine, it's, you know, it's not a big deal. But as soon as you get in the clutch of things, it just, it's a huge problem. See, I want to target the Mind Flayer, but it just takes about 40 button presses to get back there. Alright, buddies. So I've got a piece of food, so I can resurrect. Oh, I didn't need to. Um, I'm not a fan of this. Wow, I'm not a fan of the system that your HP doesn't re replenish past that point. It, it, it. I don't know. I don't like that system at all. Samantha, good to have you on board. Hopefully, you enjoy the game when you do get it. I still have to fight the Bandit Snatch as well. Yeah. We'll see what we can do with these guys. Oh man. I was pressing... Wow, I had like... Oh, we got the Mind Flayer... Flayer down. No! I reckon we can do it. If we... If that happens, we might... No! Nah, this is just crazy, man. I don't think I can do it, actually. We might just have to do another easier mission to farm up some... Um, to farm up some kilowatts. But yeah, this is again a, a thing I say about Final Fantasy XV. Too many of the enemies have instant attacks, uh, which kind of make it a little bit unfair, I feel. Okay, I honestly don't think we can do it, but if we can get enough of those parries off, maybe. No! Oh, get him, get him, get him, get him! Boom! Ah, oh. Is he dead? Yeah, I think he's dead. No! No, he's not dead. Crap. Heal. Okay, we can't. Is there any warp points? I don't think there's any warp points here, is there? Or is there one way over the back? Oh, there is one. Oh, 
It sucks, man. As soon as I get, like, one invulnerable state, I instantly have to, like, block the other one. Come on, boys. We can do it. <laughs> I think I'm, I'm just wasting time at this point, but... Fuck you, buddy. No! Oh, well. Oh, well. Yeah, Big Z, I've noticed that as well. Um, for some reason, there's like, it doesn't go steadily like level 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It goes like level 1, level 2, level 4, level 10, level 18, level 24. The, like I've said many times before, Final Fantasy has no idea about leveling and level scaling and all that. How did my comrade pop up? Can, I can't resurrect people, can I? There's no button prompt to resurrect them. I'm pretty sure I can't. Okay, we'll wait for him to attack. Attack me. Before he was going insane with his weapon attacks, and now he's like, No, you're right, bro. I won't hurt you. Let's resurrect our main. Wow, just having one NPC up makes a huge, huge difference. Oh, here's Bandy. Whoa, there's like, how many? Three? Two. <laughs> Alright, this is, uh, this is not good. What are they, are they resistant to that? So Yura is already dead. Good shit. <laughs> Yeah, this is... this is not gonna happen. Yeah. Oh well. We tried. It was a good effort. Oh, I got both of them in vulnerable. The only thing I don't like about the whole parry thing, I feel that it should knock them over or give you a little bit of time to get some damage off. Because often you can get them into this strike thingy and uh, you'll have an another enemy just straight up attack you again, so... Yeah, look at- we're doing like no damage to this dude. Yeah, alright. I might- I'm just gonna abort this quest. It's good- we're just gonna be in there for ages doing nothing, basically. I think I have to be quite a bit higher level for that one, actually. Um... Yeah. I do feel Final Fantasy XV, the game, and Comrades, it's a little bit unbalanced. I don't think the team... have much experience with balance. You know? That's the feeling I get, anyway. Maybe if they had asked some people to come over across from like Final Fantasy XIV, but I feel they need to do a lot in terms of balancing and stats balancing and level balancing in this. Yeah, I was getting pounded in that one. Absolutely pounded. I need to up my skill level. But we didn't do too bad, considering, I guess. I just didn't want to drag that out for another 10 minutes or whatever. Uh, do weapons carry over from the main game? Nothing carries over from the main game. But they've said that a few of the... Um, why am I holding the pen? Um, a few of the recipes will transfer over to the main game. Uh, for whoever was asking before, if you use this tent, you can clean your character. I'm looking a bit shabby, but I don't want to go through a bloody loading screen again. Um, let's go do a fairly easy mission. What's and that? just get some uh, killer wattage, huh? Say hi to your pals. No. You're the, talk of the, the good thing about doing quests, even if you fail, I believe that you keep the um, items that you earn on that quest, I believe. Um, I can't do the curse core at all. Let's do... I'm going to do one of these quickly. Just to get... Excuse me, just to get a bit of experience. So, people should have this unlocked, some people. I'm going to try. 
Uh, we're doing Robo Resurrection, and I'm going to put the password as 9876, and I will be Lemon Cow's Camp. Cole McLean, have I bought the GIMP outfit yet? I hope they have a GIMP outfit. I'm totally wearing that shit. Thank you. It would be nice if we could take some costumes in the main game. I don't think it's going to happen, but... Oh, Valkos! Sorry, mate, I didn't see you there. I, wish I didn't see you there. Thanks for stopping by the stream, mate. Man, I'm being a bit ignorant of the chat, but... Sorry, man. Uh, Valkos actually streams... I think he's streaming... Final Fantasy XII week mode at the moment. So if you want to check out Valkos, uh, he's got a pretty decent channel and he's a pretty good good dude, so check him out. He's still pretty small in the way of subscribers, so he could probably do with a bit of a hand in that regard, so um, let's see if we can get his channel up. Huh? Yeah, I went into his channel a while ago just watching one of his uh, live streams and he was actually a really nice bloke, so... Yeah, this is... I'll link his channel for you guys. If, if you're interested in watching some Final Fantasy XII um, week mode stuff. There's the link. Who? What? What's this? Chapa Chapa Chupa Chapa? <laughs> I'm doing Robo Resurrection 24-7. Chopper Chopper Man. Hello, mate. <laughs> How you doing? The Rogue Sigil. Dude, Aerialace. I want it. Whoa, he's level 21. This is going to be murder. Murder. Look at his... God damn. What weapon are you using, Choppa Choppa? Yeah, 24-7. It's Robo Resurrection, mate. Ah, oh, you're from Australia too. What state are you from, Choppa? I am from Queensland. New South Wales. Nobody's from Queensland, man. Everyone's from New South Wales or Melbourne. <clears throat> uh, Christian Manuel. No, I haven't done a, done a Final Fantasy VII playthrough on the channel. I did start a game where I named the characters after Lil Kidder and a few other people on the stream, but I never really carried through with it. I didn't know how much interest there would be in it, actually. I'm sure everybody's watched, like, at least one Final Fantasy VII playthrough before, so... This should go down pretty easy. Let's check out his... Oh, he's looking... Looking spiv there, mate. Looking pretty good. <laughs> you remind me of someone. Kinda nade shoddy, but maybe a little bit more masculine. <laughs> you look like someone out of a movie or a TV show. Can't quite place it. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go kick some ass. This should be pretty easy, I think. I'll just sit back and Chopper Chopper can do all the work. I'm interested to see how the leveling or the scaling goes in this. Plan C, I like escorts, am I a bad person? Well, it depends what escorts you're talking about, mate. Are we talking about paid women here, or are we talking about quests? Because that could determine uh, how bad of a person you are, I guess. After we take out this leg and he stands back up, we'll take out the other leg too. No. I've also been having a problem with this mission where halfway through you'll be targeting the um, the enemy and it'll just automatically target the Nidus or the, um, the bomb spawning thing. And I'm like, yeah, I don't really want to do that, but... I haven't seen any big, like, game-breaking glitches yet, Big Z. Annoying ones, but not game-breaking ones. Okay, taking that out. Need us for gone, good shiz. So that explosion, if it goes off, I should have been invulnerable. Usually I'm invulnerable, that's weird. That's why I didn't move out of it. Usually it just says invulnerable. What is going on? I'm I'm guessing the enemies do scale somehow with uh, the people in your party. 
Because usually these guys can't even hardly scratch me. Whoa, what is he doing, man? Has he still got armor on his other leg? He does. Let's take that shit out. Voon Rebel. Ah. Wasted. Oh, well, that went pretty quick anyway. My next guide will actually be on farming this, um, this mission. I actually finished recording it before I played this game, so... Or before I streamed this, so, um... Yeah, this is a great way to farm for experience. I think you get, like, 40... Um... 1400 experience each time you do it, so it's, it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm worried about, like, the later missions. It's just gonna be, like, people just destroying us. See, it must be something with scaling. Like, there's no way that I could do more damage than, uh, Chopper. Unless he was playing more of a support role. Like, he- his strength was double mine. No matter what weapon he was using, he should be doing a lot more damage. So, there has to be some form of scaling happening. Welcome back. You reckon? Um, Masurama, the quest is called uh, Robo Resurrection. So, yeah. G'day, Miss Chin. Miss Chin? Is, there, is that a pun? Probably not. One can't wage war on an empty stomach, so eat up. Yeah, yeah, that was a pretty good experience there, level 17 already. And you get dynamos from this. And as you saw, I used a heap of dynamos before, so, yeah. Sarah Hips, you're finally playing, good stuff. Um, Sarah, I, I don't think I'm going to stream for much longer, but this weekend I will be doing a lot more streaming. So, um, I'm going to prioritize the Moogles this weekend, so we'll get some good games rocking out. It's Ms. Chin. Alright, and hello. But see, the weird thing is, Norse uh, Lavenza, um, later on you can be playing a level 50 quest, and the boss may be level 120, but sometimes they have less HP than like a level 50 enemy. Some It just doesn't add up sometimes. Like, the levels mean almost nothing in this game. Oh, Sean! It was funny, Sean. I totally forgot to check that donation in thing, man. <laughs> totally forgot to. Um, we'll check now. I think I have to talk to the, this dude for the donation thing, do I? Because where else would it be? Now the marshal wanders around like a pathetic patrolman. Don't get me started about the Prince's Royal Retainers. Bunch of bums if you ask me. Oh, who's saying that? I want to cut them. Is it this guy? Man, the loading times are terrible. There should be an NPC here and he's not loading in. Oh well. We'll go back down. Maybe it'll pop in now. That treasonous son of a bitch. He can't be saying that stuff about me. Mate, what the crap? Oh well. Uh, Christian Manuel, I will be streaming in about 12 hours from now. I hope. Dito called to give me another update about the situation at Golden Key. Although I only got about 3 hours sleep last night, so whether I can or not is another thing. Talkit says he's got some information. I'm proud to see when they spotted a huge ship floating around off the coast of the key. He isn't sure, but Dino said that based on the shape of the ship, it might be King Regis's boat. If it's true, that would mean it's also the same ship Prince Noctis and his friends took when they sailed from Cape Kayum to Altitia. Ooh. Right now, the boat is surrounded by a bunch of demons, but Dino said the hunters are looking for a way to deal with them and recover the ship. Ah, cool. Good stuff. A little bit of lore tidbits there, I guess. Hey, Chop, what weapon are you using, mate? It doesn't, it doesn't really make sense to me 
that um that I did more damage than you. Like I'm not like this is not a dick measuring contest, but I just wonder what mechanic actually does that. It sh it must be scaling or something, surely. You're the talk of the town, kid. Thanks to those photos. Mitchell Hellbock. I hope it helped out, man. I on it, I didn't know about it either, so I really hope it did help out. I can't see any of the donation thingies down here. It's got to be that solo quest over there to unlock, maybe. We'll we'll handle that later. You're using Raikiri? Yeah, because your strength is like 200 and something, man. It's way, way bigger. Oh, our whole weapon set boosts our, sh our stats. Really, does it? Uh, so it behaves like the main game, I guess, then. So I should be really using, like, very... Weapons with heaps of strength on it. I don't really have anything else good, though. All my other stuff is pretty trash. Oh, well. Uh, what was he going to do? Unlock some stuff over here. Any bright ideas? It's in the wall? Okay, I'll go... I'll have a little look, mate. Uh, what was I going to unlock before? This one, because I think we'll get extra shot. It'll only cost, like, 1,800. We're bringing the back to Lucis. Russell Springs. All right. Old Lestalem. We got someone unlocked too. Uh, arms for Meldatio. Oh, maybe that'll actually give us um, different quests. And the malevol Malevolent Malboro. I think that quest would totally, totally kick our ass. Uh, I think we're going to unlock this, the Chia. Or do we unknow? Let's unlock that first. We've got the power. Can we do both? No, oh, we're just going to be 400 short. Ernie Sippert. Clothing shop is expanded inventory and Old Lestalem, new people. The refugees at Old Lestalem have banded together. Refugee leaders must be elected at each outpost. Each leader will offer different donations to help the reconstruction effort. There we go. There where that's where the donation system comes in, I guess. Best of luck. Oh, good shit. That's that's cool. That's good. All right. So now we know. Um, bears. There was a set of armor in um, in the beta. It like looked like a full-on set of armor. If you think you're safe out here, think again. You'd better get inside while you still have a chance. All right, man. Thanks, buddy. Some kids pelted me with cans and cold. A dirty niff. <laughs> Mate, I'm not I'm not seeing the donation thing down here. I don't think I've unlocked it yet. I'm pretty Oh, there it is. Oh, of course, yeah. Uh... Oh, it's not open yet. Yeah, so we're gonna have to go to Old Lestalem and we'll talk to the leaders there to, that have banded together. So Yeah, see you, long live skinny. Thanks for stopping by the stream, mate. So we'll go to Old Lestalem and we're going to have to vote for a, um, we're going to have to elect a leader of the, uh, the thingies, I guess. The full Imperial armor set is 20k. How, how long do you have to go before you unlock that, Big Z? Yeah, thanks, Sean. Thanks, mate. I, 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 sh I remember seeing the cutscene that showed him in that wall, actually, now. Yeah, need to elect a leader for donations. We're going to do that now. Hopefully there's uh, bonuses to it. Ding, 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 ding. I still need to save people for Lestalem then, I guess. Ah, oh, Sarah, you got work in an hour? Yeah, I have to actually go to the... Um, I have to go to the doctor pretty soon. Yeah, it's amazing, Sarah. I posted on um, Game FAQs and Reddit, and everyone's like, dude, I had no idea. And I had no idea either. It was just that I played around with stuff and experimented, that I I wasted a few weapons getting that experiment. Refugees have arrived at Old Lestalem and banded together. Where are they? Oh, what's this? 
Oh, it's just a bench I can sit on. I wonder if you can still go out of bounds here. It looks like they've disabled Warp Strike in there, so maybe not. So the town is actually a bit more populated. I think the first time we came here, the kids weren't running around. Oh, that dude's got a friggin'... Can we get that? He's got a Moogle hat and wings on. I wonder if we can unlock that. And I wonder if they've expanded their inventory. That is new. No, it's not. See you later. See you later, dickhead. Uh, here we go. So, elect leader. I'm actually going to record this as well. Refugee leaders must be elected at each outpost. Each leader will offer different donations to help the re uh, restoration effort. Sorry, I, I can't even talk right now. Um, Camila Meskel, avian caretaker who led the Wiz Chocobo post. Ah, of course. Uh, brought along a bird who loves shiny objects. You get guild donations. Ernie is owner of a popular general store in Lestalem. Closed up his shop to help pro procure provisions. And he gives you treasure donations. And Russell Spring, man who lost his beloved chariot to demons. Now drives a supply truck to fill the void. And he gives you meteor shard donations. What do we want? I'm thinking probably the most useful is... Probably going to be... Treasure donations, right? I'm thinking that's probably going to be a good way to go. Um, because we get quite a few meteor shards anyway. I don't know. Treasure? Maybe they can give us some unique treasure. Um, whatever, I think I'll go with treasure. But we always need meteor shards. I'm going to do meteor shards. <laughs> You have elected a leader. The other two are like, F you, man. F you. Because at some point, we have to get 999,999 meteor shards, so it'll help. Lestalem will now receive regular donations from major outposts. Be sure to ch check the supply station regularly. Uh, I don't think they've... Take your time, boys. Take your time, boys. Take your time, boys. Um, Lucian Carp, let's buy a couple of those. Five. I've got, oh, you rusted bit. They're just rubbing it in, aren't they? They're just like, yeah, you want some rusted bits, you idiot? Because there's about a friggin' 40 million of them in the main game. True end game rewards there. Actually, that, that is pretty good. If you want like a stamina magic build, that'll be awesome, actually. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. No worries, love. Oh, can we buy? I think Welcome we can buy back. Kenny the Crow. What is he like? Fifty thousand? Oh, <gasps> we can get Kenny ones. No, Kenny. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> Look at his eyes popping out of the bottom. Kenny Crow T. Fifty-seven thousand for Kenny Crow. Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Please come again. I've, I've just been farming a lot, mate. That's why I got so much gill. Let's see. Can we? Do we have anything like a lot of stuff that we can sell? Do any of the weapons go for much? No, not really. Oh, what goes for four thousand precision lands? I spent too much money on it anyway. Like the dynamos, you can farm them hella easy. So you could sell your dynamos, no worries. If you do that mission that I'm talking about, you could get heaps of them. Absolutely heaps of them. Stop by again sometime. Stop by again sometime, shunny. Uh, let's go back to Lestalem. <clears throat> and, um... We'll just check the donation thing, and then I think I pretty much have to go. What did Daniel ask? Sorry? No, uh, treasure, Daniel, is... Treasure is what you use. I call them monster materials, but I think they're called treasure. They, um... You use them to upgrade your weapons. Clothes don't provide any stats, as far as I can tell. They're just cosmetic. Which is... 
It's good and bad with games because sometimes you don't want to wear stuff. You like the best item in the game is like a pink tutu, and you're like, I want to be some badass. I don't want to wear a pink tutu. So sometimes it's good that they're just cosmetic. If you do that mission, the Robo Resurrection, uh, you get like 2,500 gil per thing, and it takes like three to five minutes. You can just smash it out really quick. G'day, Daredevil Damager. How you doing, mate? Triple D? Um, what are we going to do? We'll check the hole in the wall to see how our donations are going. I, I don't know how it works, if it's going to be real-time or based on how many missions you do or what. I see we got the treasure symbol there now, which means it's open. Donations received. They couldn't even say plus 600 or something. They just went, you got some donations, mate. Blah, blah, blah. Square Enix, man. You're the talk of the town, kid. Thanks I still think clothes. this game probably, it's good. I'm enjoying it. Probably could have done with like an extra month of like polish and uh, extra features add to, added to it. But otherwise, it is good. I'm liking it. Um, let's see if we can unlock some extra dingers here now that we got a few extra you. shards. How much is that? 6,000. And we get 7,500 gil and we unlock a royal tomb. But the actual thing behind it's not all that great. I need to do that quest at one some point. Well, let's see if we get any more refugees that we can uh, rescue, huh? Probably not though. I don't think we do. Uh, where's some refugees? Give me all your refugees. There's a refugi. Let's do it. Yes. Transmission complete. Transmission complete. Matteo Marchesi, Old Lestalm. Oh, they're all going to Old Lestalm. I suppose it's in the area, so it makes sense. Uh, I only got 3,000. I don't think I can unlock anything with this. Oh, 3,100. No, nothing. Yeah, all right. Uh, good shit. Bye now. Um, Puddle Jumper. Am I going to stream this every night? I'm going to try, mate. I am going to try. But I'm working. I've got a full-time job at the moment. And I've got a kid and a wife. So whether I can or not is another... Um, yeah, is another thing. Let's check out our pictures and then I'm going to call the stream, I think. Ghost Aspire, today I'm going to make an effort to farm that 60k and I'm going to buy that node and I'm going to tell you guys if it's worth it or not. Uh, I don't mind that picture. I might save that. Yes. That's, um... Ubrobro? Urobro? 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 I sound so messed up saying that. Oh, Arden confirmed. He's got the red um, warp strike. Yeah, that picture's not too bad. I don't like that it leaves the target line in it. That's kind of like a UI thing that I feel that the pictures should trim out. But yeah, otherwise, eh, bit average there. He ain't no prompto, that's for if sure. You see one you like, I can frame it for you. Yeah, family does come first, Puddle, but at the same time, this helps support my family. So, you know, you have to make that balance as well. Um, anyway, I think I'm going to wrap up the stream here. I hope you guys... Do you like... Actually, I'll take a bit of time and ask chat, and I would like a response. Um, do you like the format I do in it? I know I take it really casually, and I just kind of do missions all over the place. Or would you, like, prefer... I guess go headlong into story missions or what are you thinking? I'm actually, I really enjoy this kind of free form casual format of the episodes, but I don't know if you guys enjoy it. So um, let me know because I'm actually having a lot of fun with this series and I love the fact that every now and then I can interact with people from the chat. So it's good stuff. It's really good stuff. Part of me really wants to rush to the end and like put up videos of the ending and all that stuff, but yeah, I'm I'm just enjoying my time, so yeah. 
But otherwise, like, if talking about time, 14 hours I've put into this game. A lot of it is because I leave the game on AFK while I'm off having dinner and doing all that stuff. But um, I think you're going to get a lot of... You're going to get your money's worth out of this. Definitely. I definitely think it's worth the money so far. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, I really have to go, but I, I hope you guys are enjoying. Um, if you could do me a favor, and now this is a pretty scummy favor, but anyway, I'm about to release a video on where you can farm experience using that Robo Resurrection. If you could maybe check it out and give it a thumbs up, maybe even share it to your friends. That would be, uh, that would actually be very nice and it would help the channel a lot. Sharing the sharing videos and like liking them actually helps quite a lot. So um, thank you for your support so far. Anyway, but uh, I will try and be back for another stream in about twelve hours. Uh, so ten p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Also, if you want to uh, follow me on Twitter, you can follow me at Lemon Eating Cow. And usually I, you know, I'm on there, so you can message me on there or whatever. So anyway. Um, <laughs> what? North. Norse. Cow's gonna release his first rap album. Album. No. Never. Maybe a metal album. Also, I want to thank Soma Cruz for his very generous donation. Thank you very much. Thank you to the Moogles. And thank you to everybody for watching. Um, if you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you got any comments or suggestions, I'm open to criticism, so leave them down below. Uh, of course, unless it's bad criticism, then fuck you. <laughs> so... Um, and if you haven't subscribed already, then please do so. This has been Lemon Eating Cow. See you guys. Uh, have a good day, and I'll see you next time. Um, moo. Moo moo. <laughs>